goodness sake, don't lose your heads. Oh, yes, hello, hello, yes, hello. Uh, stop that waving your arm or drop off. Come on. Right, where's the royal box? Where the bloody hell are we? This is not the bloody festival hall, you daft old kettle. Well, what is it? Looks like some damn nightclub, if you ask me. <laughs> Sex and drugs and rock and roll. <laughs> bloody Biggles, Fergie and Thicko die country, if you ask me. Stay. The invitation said 10 o'clock on the South Bank by Waterloo Bridge, bring a bottle. <laughs> well, what are we meant to be doing? Oh, I don't know. Opening something. <laughs> Typical. Why can't people open things for themselves? <laughs> you see why they need us to cut their bloody ribbon? <laughs> Is there anybody else in the country who knows how to use a pair of bloody scissors? <laughs> yeah, I'll miss going get a mini cab back to Buckhouse. Not until I've opened something. Oh, well, open this mob then. Oh, goody. I now declare whatever. Yes. Right, let's go. Bye! Bye! Thanks for yes. Shut up! Shut up! This way, you silly old town! This way! Oh. Hi! My name's Prince No, but seriously, the Red Word. <laughs> right, OK, anyone here from Balmoral? Yeah, OK. <laughs> Observation comedy for you. Have you ever noticed? Have you ever noticed when you get into a state landau, you always think you got it to yourself? And who always comes and sits next to you? Queen Beatrix of the bloody Netherlands. <laughs> yeah, right. I can see it's happened to you. <laughs> get to the Royal Variety Show, there's always some big geezer on the door and you haven't got any tickets. So what does he say? Come in, your Royal Highness says a free drink and have the best seats in the house. Right. <laughs> so you finally get settled and some woman with a bloody great crown always comes and sits in front of you. Right, you know what I mean? So you go home, you go to bed and what always wakes you up? The changing of the bloody guard. Right. <laughs> God save your mother at nine o'clock in the morning. Okay. <laughs> and your parents always hate your clothes, don't they? You come home one day wearing this really fab tweed jacket and far out cord trousers, and you really get a heavy telling off from your dad for not wearing a uniform. <laughs> Mr. Sad, Admiral Square, fill the fash. Let's keep the royal family out of politics. Don't blame me, blame the feudal system. My name's Prince Edward, good night. <laughs> well, it's great to be here on Saturday Live. Well, it's great to be here on Saturday anyway. I'm here to answer your question, so fire away, fellows, as I said to the Sixth Fleet yesterday. <laughs> uh, Mr. President, huh? uh, what exactly are you doing over here? Well, to be frank, I'd have to be Italian and sing my way and not have any connections with organized crime. So I think I'm going to be old Ronnie instead. Mr. President, what exactly are you doing over here? Well, sir, let me answer this way. <laughs> I don't know. Huh. Pretty smart for a guy of 103, huh? <laughs> Next answer, please. Uh, Mr. President, is it true that you have no knowledge of the Iranian arms deal at any stage? I had no knowledge of anything at any stage. <laughs> I'm against terrorists and I won't have anything to do with them. That's why I got Israel to sell them the guns. <laughs> they have to get up pretty late in the morning, fellas, to catch me awake. <laughs> okay, Sir Robin. Uh, Mr. President, did you know that the profits of the arms deal went to the Contras? Can, can you speak a little softer, please? I can almost hear you. <laughs> you, over there, ask me something easy. What's your favorite color? I have never illegally supported the Contras, and the money was not siphoned through CIA bank accounts <laughs> to my full knowledge. Uh, thank goodness I didn't give anything away. <laughs> Mr. President, 
Don't you think you're too old to be a president? Uh, yellow. Definitely yellow. <laughs> or, or possibly gravy. <laughs> Uh, how is your arsehole? Casper Weinberger's just fine. <laughs> Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Last question, please. Is it true, as reported in last week's papers, that you have a memory problem? What was the question again? <laughs> no, no time for that. I've got to do Saturday Live in a minute. Ah, cue the music, fellas. Hold a chicken in the air, stick a dick chair up your bum.